Turn right onto 5th Street, then turn left onto Coronado Drive. It says the lot is full, but I'm gonna guess that there's some people coming and going. Hopefully we can find something. It's a happening place. All right, so we've arrived in Clearwater Beach. We're near the pier. We're gonna try to find some parking for the night and check out the festivities. All right, we found the perfect spot. These guys here are pulling out. We'll have a front row seat to the water and the pier. So we've been making our way up the Gulf Coast of Florida in our camper van here that we built out over the last couple years. We try to do everything on the cheap. So while we did pay for parking tonight, it was only $3 an hour, and we're making dinner to save some money. For those of you who have been following along since the beginning, and also just for this last series in Florida, thank you. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel, and we hope you'll enjoy following along on this episode when we check out the beautiful Clearwater Beach Pier, the sunset celebration here, and all the activities, and probably a gorgeous sunset tonight. This here is our Lady Grey Grey Gillespie Pinkerton. She is just chilling out, enjoying the evening breezes and tunes. Yeah, get down, Grey Grey. <laughs> She's just loving life. So here's our setup. We're making some dinner. Having a little party while we're making dinner. We have our own entertainer back here. Look at this amazing sky. It is so beautiful tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Did you have to pay to get out there, Steve? I don't think we did before. Maybe it's just to keep count. I don't know, I have to pay. So we had forgotten that you had to pay to get onto the pier. It's only a dollar, but we got here a little bit late and the sun's already going down. So hopefully we'll have a chance to come back tomorrow and catch the sunset from the end. But for now, I think we're going to try to get down to the beach and see it. It's such a gorgeous night. You going to wave for us? Whoops. Go, go Buckeyes. <laughs> I give that sunset five vans for sure. This is definitely the best sunset we've seen on this trip, I think so. Yeah? I think they're all beautiful. This one was pretty amazing. So five vans officially. Here at Clearwater's Pier 60, they have a nightly sunset celebration from 6 to 9, featuring artisans, musicians, and street performers. This is a tradition that has been happening for over 20 years. We had a great time here at the pier. Both times we visited, the sunsets have been absolutely fantastic. Some of the best we've ever seen. So that was a fun evening with a wonderful sunset. We're a little disappointed that there weren't more street performers, 
especially since that's something that Steve really enjoys. I do too, but he really loves it. So nice little stop, nice place for dinner. Now we are going off island away from the beach. We are not taking our chances tonight. Not after the knock on our van last night. So we're playing it safe and we're gonna head to a Walmart parking lot. Hopefully there'll be no knocks and we'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Can you see how dirty our windshield is? We're determining, we think this is from cooking in the van. I don't know what else could cause this. Cooking in the van has got to have caused some kind of film on the inside of the window because we just washed the outside. Yeek. We gotta add Windex to our shopping list. Hello. Alright. So I wonder where it's best. Unauthorized vehicles or vessel. What was that sign? Well, this is just not our lucky something or other. You see this sign? No overnight parking. So that's pretty interesting because we've had other van life friends park here sure? numerous times. This, is this Roosevelt? Are we on Roosevelt? We're gonna double check the address, but there's a van over there. Um, I guess we could ask. I don't know, if we can't park here tonight, that really sucks. We're gonna have to figure out <laughs> another plan. They're leaving, that van's leaving. Ah! Uh, all right, gotta check things out, figure out what we're doing. Okay, well, silly us. We didn't pay attention to our notes. Turns out there's another Walmart here in Clearwater, further away from the beach that our friends stayed at. We checked the address. So it's about five miles away. It's funny that five miles could that could make that much of a difference that it's free parking there. Hopefully that is still the case and that we'll have a good night spot. We'll see. All right, so take two. We arrived at this other Walmart and we don't see any signs for no overnight parking, so I think we're safe. What do you think? We're gonna try it. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get any knocks on the door in the night. It'd be nice to get a good night's sleep. Alright, and with that, we're calling it a night. We'll see you in the morning. I can make breakfast too. All right, we got some ice and some uh, supplies for the van. All right, we got the ice. And look, it fits right in. And then the other thing we've learned to buy our stuff frozen, like our vegetables. We got a little bit of sausage this time. Kind of helps keep things cold longer. All right, so we are running out of water in our fresh water tank. And Steve came up with this dandy, handy dandy funnel pipe setup. That you can, we can say it. It's ingenious. <laughs> Is that even the right word? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've been known to make up words. We got water that we could drink if we wanted to from the park the other day, but we call it dirt water. It tastes pretty earthy, so we're actually going to use this. Now some of you at home are probably thinking, why on earth don't you just take the jug out and fill it up? And the answer is simple. Because I don't want to. Most less hassle right now. We're only yeah. putting a little bit of water in to tide us over until we're maybe at a park where we can fill up easier with a hose or something. Okay. All right, we're getting us some good drinking water. <laughs> Oops. 29 cents a gallon. Not too bad. Over. She's got us all set up over here. Thank you. 
There we go. So since I'm a little bit of a water snob, this is a nice option for me. A little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I do suck it up like a buttercup though, and I just drink whatever we have. Like we, I did drink some of that dirt water yesterday. And if we have water that, actually I don't mind like an earthy taste as much as I don't like chemicals in the water. So if the water's really bad, usually I'll just put a tea bag in or something to kind of disguise the taste. But I like good water. So a lot of time in the mornings before I get out of bed, while Steve is sometimes still sleeping. I use the opportunity to look up um, information on the area. I'll often bring up um, Google map and just kind of scroll around and look for green areas to see what might be in the area or do a Google search on things to do. So this morning I happened to find a botanical garden and it's free. So we're gonna check that out now. Are you excited? You can't probably wait to see all the pretty flowers. Steve loves... <laughs> Steve loves pretty things. <laughs> Better love me. <laughs> Not just that I'm saying I'm pretty. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess that sounds kind of cocky. <laughs> to say <What>? I'm pretty. <laughs> anyway. Here we go. Is that good? Good earth water, dirty dirt water. So as we travel, things kind of remain fluid. We have some ideas in mind before we head to an area and make plans, but they're usually tentative and we often change them. So I think originally I had been thinking we would spend more time at Clearwater Beach, but you have to pay per hour, like $3, and that adds up for the whole day. And we talked and we just decided we don't need to go back there, right? We, we saw it, it was great, but then we can try out, check out other things. So, as I mentioned, I looked on the map and found this spot, which seems like it could actually be a neat little place. So we're gonna walk around here a little bit, and then we're gonna probably go to the library, do more work, and then just explore the area a little bit more before we keep moving on. The Florida Botanical Gardens is over 150 acres of formal gardens, scenic landscapes, and native habitats. It was nice to stop here for a little change of scenery. And I'm always a sucker for seeing plants and wildlife. Here's Steve, enjoying the garden. Finally, a tree named after me. I was gonna say they have that label wrong. You should probably carry that sign around with you. Hey Steve, wanna get married? I'm already married. <laughs> Look at this massive, gorgeous orchid. Try it, and they it smell out. great. Can you smell that? This side too. <sighs> Look, I've never seen these before. They're a pretty flower. And there's a little green orchid bee that keeps flying around. He's right here. You see him? Apple, butterfly, what is that, a bat? Flower, a dragonfly, a butterfly, a flower. Mm -hmm. They're working on a little number. A little ditty. He's 
We're rocking out, guys. an added bonus. We didn't even know this was here before we got here. Located in the heart of Pinellas County, Heritage Village is a 21-acre living history museum with homes and buildings with exhibits and demonstrations about the area's local history. The H.C. Smith store, built in 1915, originally stood on the southeast corner of 6th Avenue and 5th Street South in St. Petersburg, where it served as a grocery and meat market. In 1988, it was sold to the city of St. Petersburg and was moved here to the village and restored to appear as a 1920s era general store complete with a service station and garage. And then uh, our parish register there, that's 110 years old, and it still works today like it did. Yeah, would you like a soda pop? I would. <laughs> so we put this addition on. Oh, we put the post office in. We found ourselves with an abundance of room. It was supposed to take six months. Well, that was two years ago. Oh no! We, we incorporated the barbershop into the building. So do I get a haircut now? Excuse me? Do I get a haircut now? The last, the last haircut I okay. gave, this is a guy was out of here holding his ear in his right hand. His ear. So, <laughs> Non-conforming in shape. You didn't have a safety range of But that was the switchboard from the old hotel. Okay. Yeah, that water grenade was supposed to help you put out fire inside. I don't imagine it really worked. These were great. Thank you for all, thank so you for you. We always well, so are you. It's nice to have somebody that's genuinely interested. Yeah, okay, thanks. The store was actually in downtown St. Petersburg, and it was uh, in the 1920s with A.C. Smith. And to make a long story short, the garage was not part of it. They added that on, but they moved it from downtown St. Pete. It's it's Well, this is a neat little park, and I think it was a neat little treat there at the end with the historical look at how life was back in the early 1900s. Now we're heading back to the van, going to make some lunch, and probably check out an area library. It's a fine dining lunch kind of day today. Straight from the can. <laughs> One less dish to wash. Yeah. Take the next right onto Philippe Park Drive, then turn right to stay on Philippe Park Drive. Moss. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Lady, we're already here. Yeah, it's somebody doing a photo shoot out here. All right, well, we found another free spot for the evening. A county park. Check out this location for this evening's dinner reservations. You ready for it? First off, here's our little girl, just chilling. She can't wait to see what's beyond this curtain. Ready? And there it is. Look at this view. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
and more Spanish moss. All right, Chef Steve is busy at work again. I guess I should probably join him. There's a squirrel. And there's the cat. Hopefully she doesn't realize. Want one? There's a Steve, very deep in thought. You don't want to know what's going on in there. Not much, trust me. <laughs> Time for an evening walk along the water. Look at this view. Magnificent. All right, so we're back in the van at a Cracker Barrel tonight, not too far from the park we were just at. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us as we've been exploring clear the Clearwater area last night and today. It's nice to uh, check out areas and spend time in areas that we've planned ahead about, if that makes sense. But sometimes it's fun just to do things like we did today where it was more spontaneous and then we were pleasantly surprised by what we found. do you think it was? Yeah, that park we were at was spectacular. And earlier today, especially that little old throwback store, yeah, that, was cool. that was pretty fun. So anyway, a good day overall. Thanks for watching. And as usual, we love hearing from you. So please down below, drop us a comment. Let us know you're watching. We always like hearing from you. Until yes. next time. All right. See ya. Bye, guys. Batman, out. Ha, 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 ha.